Good morning, everybody. It's a wonderful Tuesday, and I pray that you will all be blessed, and I know you will. So we're going to get started today. Today, I'm going to talk about the uh, Pharmacy Bronzer. Uh, it's a shimmering bronzer, and it is a dry bronzer, which means it's not going to leave that oily residue. So, um, I really think that you're going to uh, enjoy it and really, really like it. Um, get some people tagged here. If I tag you and you're not wanting to be tagged, I am sorry. I, it, I just go down the line and most of them are my team. So that is what I am basing my tag on. I try to look and get just the team, but we all make mistakes. I guess you'll just have to delete me as a friend if I get you on there. And I'm not supposed to be getting you on there. I'm so sorry. Who else we need? Okay. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Most of the time, you don't see me doing anything during Monday because <laughs> it is a, a revamp day uh, for me. Okay, here we go. Hello, Jennifer! Okay. Hey, Jennifer, have you tried the the uh, oilless bronzer shimmer? That's what we're going to do today. Now, I have put my rose oil and I put my uh, serum on. And I'm going to go in Well, I tried it Of course, you know, not live And hi, Rhonda, how are you? Well, you know, I, I Ow, 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 ow my hands are slippery and I tried to open that up and it pinched me. I'll tell you the thing about that, Rhonda. It cut me. Wow. Um, the thing is, is what I like to do is um, I, I've noticed whenever I tried it, well, if I can get it open, I can't get this open. Wow. Wow. There we go. Goodness. The bottom of that lid literally cut me. Okay. What I like to do is uh, I like to go ahead and put... I, I'm doing the stay mat. I love the stay mat. Oh, my goodness. I tell you. Uh, look at that. Can you believe that? Wow. 
Y'all be careful. I mean, my hands were oily is why it didn't work for me. Uh, anyway, I put on, I'm putting on my, um, uh, rose oil. And then, uh, I'm going to go in with my stay mat because it puts that little oil on it. Now, I use to use the stay mat and my skin is not oily. So, it would not work well with my skin type because stay mat like I said, it's for oily skin. So whenever you're using Stay Matte, um, it, well, I don't really, I, I can't, it just doesn't have any oils in it. So hence, if you don't have any oils in the products that you're using, it's not gonna add oils to your face which is gonna make you not break out. So if you're gonna use one of our serums, make sure that you get a non-greasy, oily serum. You do not wanna use, if you have an oily skin, you do not wanna use the rose oil. I do not have oily skin, and I use the rose oil, and I started purging in different places. Uh, it was bringing out the poisons and it also could be that you know there was just too much oil going on with my my skin but anyway this is a uh, it, it is a dryless and what you can do is the difference between a, 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 a bronzer and a contour stick is the bronzer is for depth and dimension, which you could do that with the, bron the uh, bronzer. But the bronzer is gonna be a sun-kissed. A bronzer is like, uh, I just get so loud and excited. <laughs> the bronzer is like a um, contour stick and a highlight at the same time. So if you feel like you're using a lot of the bronzer, then do it at the end. Replace it where you would do your, um, uh, shimmery. I can't get my mind right. My mind just doesn't want to think. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a little bit on uh, a brush and I'm just going to dabble it where I would put the um, contour. I guess I need to do it like this. That way we won't, uh, the brush will not absorb. Okay. So you want to dabble. See how that just brings in that sun-kissed? It has like a little shimmer to it. And I, I just really think that that's real pretty. But you do not want to do a bunch of rubbing. You just do not. You want to dabble it where you want it. Now, I will also tell you this. If you are uh, a mature woman, but you have oily skin, when you use the Stay Mat, now, you may not like hearing this, but it's the truth, and I'm going to be truthful to you. If if you are a mature woman and you're using the stay mat because you've got oily skin, 
I want to show you what that's going to do. Can you see that? Well, it may not. It see at times, I'm not going to say all the time, but at times, and I'm not going to close that up all the way. That ugh. At times, you're going to have the stay mat settle in your deeper crevices. The reason why that is, is regular foundation is blended in with your color tone, oils, and other stuff. Your stay mat is water, no oil, and a powdery, uh, consistent color tone. So that powder may settle in your creases. May. I'm not going to say it's gonna. I have noticed at times that it settles in, in, my, in my creases. All I do is just get my um, uh, time locker and spray it, and then just rub around, and it takes that away, that takes that out of there to where you do not have to be concerned with your um, uh, stay mat settling in your in your creases. Okay, so today. Uh, we're we're gonna just keep it simple. I'm not even gonna do but uh, a little base of eyeshadow, and uh, I'm I'm just gonna keep it very very simple. I'm gonna go run around town, and uh, it, we don't need to do a evening look when we're just running around. Or I don't think we should, but you do what you want. So I'm going to go in with a matte color, and it's going to be this one right here, boss. And we're just going to put that on. And then we're going to get just a little neutral color, uh, probably the, the strobe dream. And we're going to put that up on top. So let's do that to the other side, and then that way you do. You've got uh, not really a camouflage, but you've got um, uh, you know a, a a base there. Okay, so you've got that. Now you want to probably go in to your crease, and I'm just going to go in with the noble. I'm going to go in with the noble. It's just a very neutral color. And we're going to do that right here and come down. See? Very, very light. Very, very light. Now, the thing is about this uh, uh, oilless bronzer is see how light that is you're not picking up hardly any pigment you're with a really light hand you just you we just want something that is just going to be very very light and now we're going to go in with our smudge brush and we're going to go underneath and, and we're going to go in with a little darker, which is this one right here, uh, Rebel. And we're just going to smudge that underneath on your hairline. Just, it's, it's just very natural. just to bring out that hairline.
We're not going in heavy at all. And you really truly want, I know, I've got, uh, I'm doing the shimmer to the bronzer today. I'm gonna do the 1920s. So y'all need to tune in for that. That's gonna be a heavy look. And, uh, and then I've got a reverse cat eye. That is the big trend going on right now on uh, TikTok. Okay, so once we get all of this, hi, Angela. Once we get all of this in place, I want us, it doesn't matter if we smudge it underneath and we look like we've got black eyes. We've got uh, concealer. We're just gonna rub all this around and blend it in to where it looks more natural. Okay, so we're blending in. See how we're just gonna blend and rub. See how that looks? looks really, really nice. You're just gonna blend it all in. It doesn't matter what goes underneath here. We just want all this to look natural. We're not gonna be heavy today. We're gonna be very, very light. Okay, so we're putting that away. So y'all don't forget to come in and watch me do the 20. And then also the reverse cat eye. The reverse cat eye. You're gonna really like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in with our brow. And what I like to do is use the uh, mascara brow from Pharmacy. If you do a boo-boo like that, don't worry about it. Now, I like to brush all of mine up. If you follow me, you probably, you probably know that. See the difference? It just, it's got such a better definition to it. So, and if you've got all these little long ones, that is extremely long, I would not recommend you to cut those. I do not cut those off. They don't stick up like that. What I do is I lay them down and that fills in where there may not be growth. But like I said, now we do not want to go heavy today. We're wanting to go light. Okay, so you want it to fade. I know y'all know what fade means. Uh, we've had a lot of people like that trend where their hair fades, and that's what you're going to do with the inside of your eyebrows. You really, really, really want that to fade. So, whenever that dries, we're going to take some of this off. Hi, Lisa! So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that off. Now, this little mistake right here is probably dry, and you just flick it off. Just flick, flick, flick. That's all you want to do is just flick it off. Now, if you don't want to go totally natural, you can go inside. I'm good, Lisa. I'm real good. Thank you for asking. If you want to go a little bit more definition, go in your waterline and just go on the outside crevice. And then that way um, you will have a little bit more definition uh, on your eyes. But I'm just not going to do that today. Like I said, I am going as natural as I can. I'm not going to do a bunch of glamo. Glamour, glamour. Now, when I do the 20s, you get ready. 
that's going to be dark dark and heavy now what I'm doing now is I'm kind of prepping my lashes uh, I, I tell you what y'all may think I'm crazy and oh how could she do that but let me tell you what I did just a second I have to I can't chew gum and walk at the same time as y'all were noticing a while ago I, I do not I just cannot um, for the life of me think what I'm trying to say in a demo and get your facts and try to do something at the same time okay now y'all may think I'm crazy but I had to do this do you notice there is no hairs right here on the end I had to pluck my eyelashes these eyelashes right here they were just whoop, they were growing curly curly so curly that they were going backwards I could not do nothing with them nothing how many out there has experienced that because I don't know if it was my surgery or what I tell you it's just absolutely crazy 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 okay so now we're going back and we're gonna use our spoolie and we're gonna flick over here where it will fade do you see that see how that goes up and it will fade now that's what you want you don't you want it to look natural and if you if you look at your la your eyebrows before you put anything on them then you're going to notice that this is lighter than this is because it's just a no-brainer this has not got as much as this over here so it is going to be different and so you're going to have to come back with the spoolie and then you're going to have to get some of that off of there to where it'll fade in to your look see looks good okay so we did the bronzer and that that put a little definition into us now if that's not going to put enough in for you then just i mean just go in go in with it i think we got enough on our nose so just i mean just go in it's just it it's not gonna kill you you know i mean we got enough going in the world to not get so upset over our makeup for crying out loud so you want to put that definition back in and you got that right there by the bronzer so you're going to see that sun kiss see how that is nice okay so now it is time to contour Let's get our contour out. Or not contour, conceal. What am I talking about? Thank you, Jen. I was wondering if you were still with me. I like it when you're with me, Jen. You just, you make me feel confident. There we go. See how pretty? Okay, so we could use the small one. And I really like the way the concealer does. I love it. I really, 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 really love it. I like the way it brightens. 
brightens up my face. And I do not know if you, if you can relate, but when we get at our age, mature, we get dull. Not in personality, but we get dull. Now, again, let me remind you We are not going overly bright colors. And it doesn't matter if we don't put a bunch of eyeshadow on or anything like that. What we want to do is put, we don't, we do not want to just slap on foundation. We do not want to do that. We want to put depth, definition, and uh, a real pretty contrast to our face. Now, I also want to say another thing about this bronzer. Thank you, Jen. About the bronzer. You can use this anywhere on your body. You can use it on your legs. You can use it on your face. You can use it on your arms. You can use this anywhere you want. Now, I want to show you. If it were me, I would rub it in with one of these. See, you've got this. Let's rub it in. This goes on so much easier and smoother with one of these. See that? Look at the difference. The difference is amazing. And I'll be real honest with you. I would, I would come more to using it on my arms on my arms than on my face. On my legs than on my face. Now, why is that? Because I am the type that I like my bright, uh, my uh, highlight I like my powder uh, my highlight and I like uh, my contour stick a lot better than the, than 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 this on my face. But if I want to have that sun kissed look on on my body, then I'm going to use it on my arms. And you need to use it with this kind of brush. You don't have to get it from pharmacy. Uh, you can go and get it at uh, Walmart or whatever. Now, I'll be real honest with you. Of course, I sell pharmacy. And I feel like pharmacy's brushes are a better quality. I mean, that's just a no-brainer, uh, you know. 
but if you once you put that on and you feel it it just feels so nice and rich you've got that wonderful glow that sun-kissed glisten and it, it's absolutely stunning uh, especially when you go out it's not a glittery thing but when you go out in the sun and the sun just hits where you've placed it and you've placed it on your arms uh, it just has that beautiful glow now let me give you a helpful hint if you use SPF lotion put some of this in it uh, if you want to use it on your face then put it in your makeup if um, you want that uh, Brazilian look on your lips then get some on your lips after you put your um, your lip conditioner on uh, and use it as a highlight you can do that uh, I just like to you know put it around my face if I'm gonna be using it because it does show that that glow that sun kiss glow but I would I, I just love uh, the bronzer I, I mean I love the um, the contour Uh, on my face rather than the bronzer so Jen what are you gonna do today you heard what I'm gonna do I'm running errands Okay, so we're going to put even though we've got that bronzer on I want to put my highlight Yes. How is that leg of yours doing, darling? Is it doing okay? Now see, that's just so much easier. Oh, Jen, bless your heart. You know, putting these on. is so much easier now that I do not have to deal with those curly curls. I mean, it is awful. Need to press those down. Well, Jen, we pray for you. We pray for everybody that is going through such hard times or pain or anything like that. I was going to ask Rhonda how her little granddaughter was, but I will. Okay, see how much easier and prettier that looks? It doesn't look all clumped up or anything. Now, I love the Zen. And Jen, you know how I love that Zen. 
but I will tell you no lie. And while I was out of Zen, I had to use all I had. And what did I have? But the optimal. Have you ever tried it? Okay, we're going to put a little bit of powder down here. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got that bronzer on. We're going to spray, and we're going to get that to dry. And then after it dries, I like to just go back over it with a brush and not really press hard to blend, but just to lightly light hand it and um, get any, you know, loose or any stuck or whatever. We need to do our lipos, and we're going to go really, really light-handed on that, too. We're just trying to be uh, not really natural. I, I, I say natural sometimes, but natural is really not the key. Um, it's just um, not heavy. We just don't want to go in heavy today not look. those eyelashes up just a smidgen okay lips now we're gonna go light just because we have our face that's light now let's go in with our brush and just lightly touch up Anything that we have that's kind of out of place. Okay, we don't want to go with dark color. So let's go in with a lighter color. And we're going to go in with two, 201. 201. Very pretty. Very pretty natural color for my lips. Pretty close. Now, 
being a mature woman, you do not want to overdo. I know, isn't it pretty? You thank you, Jen. You do not want to go over on the top lip. Reason being is this. See those little creases and lines coming in when you talk? All that. Then it doesn't matter if you have your uh, lip liner. Lip liner helps prevent your lipstick from running. But sometimes your lip liner will, will start to run. Uh, so, with that being said, let's match up. Now, you can overdo. Uh, you can overdo your bottom line. Easy. I think I'm going to go in with this one. I'm gonna go in with this one. And this is 205. 205 is our winner. My nose is running. Okay, you want to get a clean and pull it out. See? Won't get on your teeth that way. Let it dry just a bit. You can still see, but it's a really good match. You can still see the um, uh, lip liner over over line uh, and it looks natural because it's so close to the lippy that we used now what we need to do is we need to do our final touches you want that princess uh, look dot and you want it to go down like so. See how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. Now you're going to want to uh, put a little bit on your flat brush. And this is, this is just for your bow. We're looking really uh, not glamour, you know, night. Uh, we have natural, uh, our, our foundation and our concealer and our contouring has brought in that natural uh, look. And I think it's pretty. What do you think? Oh, what color is the lippy? The color of the lippy is 205. 
205. And it's the one with the black lid. It's just the regular lippy. Now, if you want to put a shine to it, you can go back. With the clear lip plumper, and I just put it in the middle. And if you want an ombre, you're gonna want to go in with your finger, get a dabble, touch. Brave. Brave is one of our leading colors. And you're just going to want to dabble after you kiss. Right in the center. you have your ombre with your ombre you do not want to go any further than what this this dip is you want to go right here into the dip same thing with your bow you do not want to go any further that eyelash is wanting to Stick my, I'm gonna have to curl up. Okay, well that's the look for today. And just remember that you are loved. Bye Jen, bye.